Good morning, all of you. This is the continuation of the lesson. Should visit it, my hit mommy by John of Dyke. Page number 52, you can take. And he passed as a rapt expression widened out from his daughter's nostril, forcing her eyebrows up and her lower lip down in a, in a white, noiseless grin. An expression in which Jack was startled to recognize his wife, feigning pleasure at a cocktail parties. And all of a sudden, he whispered. He took his own time to create that effect and he whispered, that means you know whispering, he was just creating uh, enthusiasm. The whole inside of the world, wizard's world, her wizard's house was full of the smell of roses. roses. Roger Fisk cried and the wizard said very cranky, that will be seven pennies. Daddy, she asked, what? He also replied, he asked that what, what do you want? Roger Skunk, you said Roger Fish. Yes, Roger Skunk, right? You said Roger Fish? Wasn't that silly? And she was asking that, criticized, maybe making fun at. Very silly of your stupid old diary. Uh, where I was, and he was asking a question where I was means in the sense where need to, where we need to resume. Well, you know about the pennies. Yes, say it. Yes, okay. Then he continued. Okay, Roger Skunk said, but all I have is four pennies. And he began to cry because you know, otherwise the wizard will change the smell from roses to awful. So that here Roger Skunk cried. So, but all I have only four pennies, he replied, and of course he began to cry. Joe made the face, crying face again, but this time without a trace of uh, sincerity. That she was also pretending. That means, you know, acting like she was also joining with the story, and of course he was reacting. This annoyed Jack in the sense, annoyed, irritated him because he was waiting. He was waiting, and of course he was narrating the story to make her sleep, but she was not sleeping. Instead, she was just interrupting and of course, traveling with the story. So this online jack downstairs some of some more furniture rumble, that means in a cracking sound, that means some some moving here and there sound. Class wouldn't know heavy things because she was six months pregnant. So it'd be, it would be their third, third child. So the wizard said, that means, you know, here jack continued. So the wizard said, oh, very well. Go to the end of the land and turn around three times and look down the magic well. You can underline that, you know, what is the meaning magic well, which is providing. So, that, that, that has magical, you know, impact. So, here magic well, well, you know, what is the meaning well, where we are, you know, getting water. Once we had, nowadays also, especially in the cultivated irrigation land, where you go, you will also see that. So, here, that means in a round structure, once we use that and of course, um, some systematic approach to get that means you know get water from the well all those things we may we can also remember but nowadays everything through pipeline we are just getting that we have bore we have too many things now and of course here on magic well there you can get everything whatever you want but here so go to the end of the land and turn around three times and look down the magic well and there you will find three pennies you know he was something you know benevolent the wizard the wizard was benevolent and of course Wizard's expectation, seven pennies, but the Roger creator had only uh, four pennies. That remaining three can be found in the particular magical. Only three. You understand that? That, that, that was magical related. Magic related, that's right. And here it, it directed magic well and three, and there you will find three pennies. Hurry up. And of course, director Roger Skang went with curiosity and of course went to the end of the land and turned around three times. And there in the magic well were three pennies he found and of course submitted. So he took them back to the wizard and was very happy and uh, ran out into the woods and all the other little animals gathered around him because he smelled so good. You understand? Of course, that uh, the means the business has been completed. The business was completed with the wizard and when he just, you know, submitted three pennies, that means already he submitted four pennies, then again three pennies, which he got from the magic wall and of course, it, it got from the magic wall and of, then just, you know, so he took them back to the wizard and was very happy. Then ran out into the woods in the sense, he just returned to his particular place where he was, uh, you know, living. Woods and all together, all the other little animals gathered around him because he smelled, he, Rajas Kang smelled so good, Rosa smell. And they played tag, ba baseball, football, basketball, lacrosse, hockey, and of course soccer and pick up sticks. So too many, you know, games here, the narrator was mentioning and of course here the storyteller, uh, we are considering Jack. Jack was a storyteller, right? Jasmine Kumar, you can mute. Then here, tag, tag, underline the word, a children's game of uh, chasing like. 
they once we had also it's like round race like we conduct and of course we play it so tag and baseball and football basketball <laughs> okay and then uh, baseball football basketball lacrosse you know what is the meaning lacrosse also a game played on field by two teams with long sticks you understand and lacrosse hockey also and uh, soccer you know football varieties and the soccer and pick up sticks when he completed pick up sticks immediately she asked so what is pick up sticks it is a game you played with sticks so he also answered it's a game you play with sticks like the wizard magic wand he asked you know she was connecting you know the sticks with magic stick magic wand you understand so like the wizard magic wand she was asking that maybe kind of and of course like that also he also agreed kind of maybe maybe like that and they played games and laughed all afternoon that means enjoyed a lot and then it became to get dark and with that means you know it's like civil life becoming evening dark dark so here get dark and they all ran home to their mummies this is like you know the uh, children children however they are playing the whole day they will play before civil life that means you now before uh, getting dark they have to reach their home that means return to their mummies once we had like that you know performance and everything nowadays also sometimes when you are going for the, playing cricket or something you know some some games you will also right you be, before uh, you know getting dark you will return your home so likewise you are uh, and they played games and loved all afternoon and then it began to get dark and they are all uh, they all ran home to their mummies in the sense they they just went to their homes right and then then page number 53 you see and joe was uh, starting to fuss with her hands and a look out of the window at the crack of the day that showed under the shed she thought the story was all over just things like women women when they took anything for granted he liked them apprehensive hanging on his words now joe are you listening he was asking so when when he completed that means you know that it it began to get dark and they all ran home to their mummies and she thought that that means so joe was uh, starting to fuss and really the fuss in the sense you know some some agitating activity or here uh, here we can take some childish activity she was just opposing and of course she was showing her long face you know what is the meaning long face right and joe was uh, starting to fuss with her hands hands and of course and look out of the window she just returned look out of the window at the crack of the day you underline the crack of the day means that means in a split or a gap that at particular day that showed under the shed and that means you know some you know it's like sunlight or something from through the windows and of course she thought the story was all over that's why she was reacting you can also have close to bracket she thought the story was all over that means he completed so she expected the continuation jack didn't like while looking at her face he got irritated and of course he he was a man and of course he jack didn't like women when they look when they took everything or anything for granted that means you know they have some restrictions they have to follow rules and regulations they have to be you know something matured enough when they took anything for granted in the sense you know some some that age we can take some fathers are very strict they will not allow their children to do such kind of activities some of them are very free and of course friendly we are just allowing to do uh, the varieties we have so here jack was a character and of course jack didn't like women including children also a child including his own child also she was four years old child women when they took anything for granted you understand that he was not liking that he wanted that means you know that's all up whatever he narrated he liked them apprehensive underline that apprehensive here we are taking maybe it's like you know anxious or uneasy or fearful or we are doubtful so here he liked them apprehensive hanging on his words something you know hanging on his words they have to follow and he was a strict father a strict, a strict man in the house and he was asking with the round you know something in a different voice now go are you listening are you listening to me like she was yes she also answered because this is very interesting rojas khan's mummy said what is the doubtful smell and he continued yes you have to listen to me because this is very interesting and he also some somewhere you know he wanted to he thought of you know creating that eff effect so here because this is very interesting rojas khan's mummy when rojas khan went to his mummy Rajesh Kang mummy said, "What is the awful smell? You underline that awful smell. Awful means bad smell. You understand my key smell. For Rajesh Kang's mummy, that was awful. Which one? Rose's smell. You understand that? 
you can also underline and write that means awful what does that awful what does that awful smell means here rose smell for that particular creature because they are meant for that that means you know awful smell bad smell represents you understand that Rojas Khan's creatures. So here, when when she received Rojas Khan, she, she was rejecting that. And of course, she showed her face and asked that, what is the awful smell? What? It? And that means, you know, what is, what, what? Here, Rojas Khan, and of course, she also reacted. And Rojas Khan said, it is me, mummy. I smell like roses. And she said, who made you smell like that? He was just showing her face. When he answered, I smell like roses, mummy. I'm very happy. It is me, mummy. And she said, she asked that, who made you smell like that? And he said, the wizard. And she said, okay, well, of, well, well, of all the nerve, that means, you know, no, uh, that means irrespective of all, you please come with me. You come with me and I and you. That means, you know, we are going right back to the very awful wizard. And she mentioned that, you know, wizard also was very awful. That's why the wizard changed you into an awful, awful smell. That means, you know, rosa smell for the creature. That means, it's like, you know, we have some uh, even uh, proverbs and of course old saying that according that based on the creature and of course background they have to you know smell like even you know pick something we have even dogs even too many creatures we have based on they will also smell like so here for Rojas Khan the awful smell was there you know tradition when Rojas Khan was you know smelling like uh, roses he just you know got irritated and of course by that he was also telling that so here, well, 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 of all nerve, you know, you come with me and we are going right back to the, that very awful wizard. Jo sat up, her hands, uh, you know, dabbling in the air with a genuine, genuine fright. Something, you know, when daddy was, you know, narrating the story in this way, something she got. She was unable to bear that. That means, you know, anyhow, the daddy was going to continue like the mummy will go and of course hit, hit, hit the particular wizard and change the smell, uh, roses into, you know, awful that she understood that's why she started to react she understood joe sat up that means you know, she was not lying and of course she sat up her hands dabbling underline the word you know what is the meaning dabbling it's like throwing like throwing in the air and she was reacting moving her hands dabbling in the air with a genuine fright you know what is the meaning fright here you know genuine here childish but daddy then he said about the other little animals ran away that means he understood that that will happen that means you know that mommy will hit the wizard and by the hitting you know the wizard will change the smell of roses into awful that was the basic you know smell of roses come that's why she asked but daddy then he said about you know then he said when she was reacting but daddy then he said about the other little animal run away her hands skittered off into the underbrush you understand and of course he was also reacting whatever he narrated and of course hey yes when the smell uh, you know changes like awful all the animals run away that is very common you know that already happened so here her hands skittered off underline the word it is ran away quickly into the underbrush in the sense maybe under the carpet like underbush you right underground or underbush uh, that means you know, inside the pillow or under the pillow under the cover and she was reacting agitating activity that means she was not happy with the end of the story so here all okay all right he said but mommy but mommy all all the other little animals run away from me and she said i don't care so here and all right he said all right he said here all right all right from jack and he said in the sense underline the word he he here rojas Khan, he said but mommy you yes of course if we are going right back to the particular awful wizard then you will do something then wizard also will change my uh, smell roses to awful you know one thing all the other little animals run away from me because i smell bad and she said i don't care i don't care anything because this is our inner tradition that that, that smell represents us so you smell the way a little skunk should have and of course I am going to going to take you right back to the wizard and so took an umbrella you know underline the word she took an umbrella and uh, went back with the roja skunk uh, with the roja skunk and hit that wizard right over the head you understand that's why here the topic of the lesson is should wizard hit the mummy because already the mummy hit the wizard you understand this is from Joe and Joe was asking that should wizard hit the mummy because already mummy hit the wizard for changing the smell of roses into awful sorry uh, awful smell into roses so that's why here so all right he said but mummy all the other little animals run away and she said i don't care i don't care 
you smell the way a little tongue should have and I am going to take you right back to the wizard and he took an umbrella and went back with Roger's tongue and hit that wizard right over the head. No, Joe said, she was supposing, no, 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 and put her hands out to touch his lips. His lips, something, you know, she stopped. She stopped of narrating, stopped the narrating from, uh, from her father, that's why she just, you know, interrupted. Joe said, and put her hand out to touch his lips, yet even in her agitation, underline the word, you know, what is the meaning agitation means? Maybe it is like, you know, anxiety. Anxiety or agitating, that means, you know, worried activities, right? She was worried. She was worried, she was not very happy with the end of the story, ending of the story, so that yet even in her agitation, she did not quite dare to stop the source of the truth. Something she tried to stop her daddy, but somewhere she feared because he was her daddy. That's why. Inspiration came to her and of course the wizard hit her, the wizard hit her on the head and did not change the little skunk back. This is what her, you know, uh, maybe demand, you know, what is the meaning demand? She was demanding that, no daddy, how to say like that? And of course, the wizard, then the wizard hit her mom, hit her. That means, you know, hit, hit mommy on the head. That means, that means written. Already mommy hit the wizard immediately. The wizard also reacted because he was a wizard. He had a magic wand. So then the wizard hit the mother on head, on the head head and did not change that little skunk's back. You understand? This is what. No, he said. The wizard said, okay, and Roger skunk. But he continued. No, no, no. You are not right, Joe. Joe, this is daddy's story, not Joe's story. If you want to tell the story to daddy, okay, you can narrate. But this is my narration. Whatever I am saying, you have to follow that. No, he said. The wizard said, okay, because he got already got the hit from the mummy of Roger skunk. So, the wizard started to react. So then the wizard said, okay, and Roger's tongue did not smell of roses anymore. He smelled very bad again. That means again he did the mantra and of course changed the smell roses from roses to apple. So he smelled very bad again, underlying the word. That means you know, he chanted mantra, he did mantra, he did chanted mantra and of course changed the smell of that particular Roger creation. But the other little um, um, but little animals. Um, underline the word here that means creatures or animals oh um, um. that the reaction from job you understand that but uh, but we all something you know their language they will children are always using some la funny language like so but they all but the other little um, um, oh um, um, that means my creatures will run away from the roses can see we are john joe that is daddy's story Shall daddy not tell you any more stories? And he was just so threatening. If you are disturbing like that, I will not say stories hereafter. Her broad face looked at him through scepter light, astounded. That means he was surprised and the word astounded means you're astounded means surprised. Of course, he was hesitated. She was hesitating. She hesitated herself. Her broad face looked at him through scepter light. He was just looking at him, astounded, surprised, highly surprised. This is what happened. You can. This is what happened. Then Roja, he continued when she was, you know, calm. So this is what happened. Then Roja Skang and his mummy went home and they heard woo 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 and it was the Cho Cho rain train. Sorry, Cho Cho train bringing daddy Skang home from Boston. So when they reached their home, when they reached their home, and of course Skang Roja Skang and his mummy went home and they heard woo woo. Maybe it's a, a train sound, or whistle sound, woo 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 woo, and it was the cho cho train bringing. You can also choo choo also, you can also so, no issues, cho cho also you can say that. So no issues, right? So train bringing daddy is coming home from Bosu. I think the sound, the sound of the train or whistle sound or anything, the particular machines or engines sound, and they had lima beans underlying the word. Here lima beans, lima beans. Of course, your celery, then, right? So, and they had lima beans, celery, liver, mashed potatoes, and uh, five uh, my for desert, five oh my for desert. And when Roger's Kang was in bed, Mummy's Kang came up and, of course, hugged to him and said he smelled like her little baby's Kang again. And she loved him very much. And that's the end of the story. He completed that. You can underline the things lima beans, celery, liver. 
the liver of an animal like that means somebody you know fried like with onion mashed potatoes mashed potatoes potatoes that have been boiled that have been boiled and of course then crushed into a soft mass but that is like using of you know, even uh, butter and milk usage so here he was mentioning that and they had lima beans uh, celery rubber mashed potatoes and payo mai payo mai for desert you underline that payo mai for desert in the that is also a sweet dish provided after even after dinner before dinner like they were using that and uh, for my desert and when rojas kang was after after the dinner when they when the roja when the creature so here you know, when rojas kang was in bed mummy kang came up and hugged him you know what is the meaning hugged him and said he smelled like her little baby skang again and she loved him very much and she also kissed you understand that very much and that's the end of the story when he completed the daddy what what do you want then did the other little animals run away no because eventually underline what do you know what is the meaning eventually so eventually means end of the story or in the end so eventually they got used to the way he was you understand that that means the awful smell is the representation like you know that is their community maybe their you know background and of course their tradition no because eventually they got used to the way he was he was handling the word and did not mind at all what is events lady he handling the word and she was asking the what is the meaning events lady that is not events lady eventually so when he went when he mentioned because eventually eventually means at the end end of the story at the end she was asking what is the meaning events lady she just mispronounced the pronounced the word like events lady eventually in a little while that was a stupid mummy then it she was just continued she continued that was a stupid mummy that's why she changed the smell rose from awful it was not like that he also said with the rare emphasis you underline the word rare emphasis means you know trust tension he he became tension and it was not like you understand joe you go to sleep and sleep well otherwise that's all he said with the rare emphasis and believe from her expression and he also understood that that she realized he was depending his own mother to her or sometimes some things as odd and of course he was also reacting that now i want you to put your big heavy head in the pillow and have a good long nap so he just you know lost he also got irritated so he was just ordering restricting yo kindly go to sleep otherwise then i will beat then i will react now i want you to put your big heavy head in the pillow and have a good long nap you can also have a close to bracket and write for your extra card uh, short answers or something you know even objective questions right he adjusted the shirt that means so not even a crack of a day show that means you know, even the screen even the window screen even the door everything he just adjusted that means you know uh, that that even the light shirt did not disturb our light he adjusted the shirt now so he not even a crack of a day showed and tiptoed underline the word tiptoed went went on toes then he walked so the tip toe means and he walked to the door so it means you know he just went to the door near the door in the pretense that she was already asleep and of course by looking at her she started to pretend you know that's a mean pretend she started to act like he was sleeping when he was walking but when he turned she was crouching on top of the cover and staring at them you understand that again that that's a pure activity of a child for years for years they will you know they will they they don't understand we are all trust we have too many problems we have we have economical problem we have psychological problem we will not be you know something related to or even diseases like but they will react you understand because they have boundless energy and they will not understand they don't have that much maturity they will not react accordingly so that they are always that's why children are always children students are always students they will behave accordingly so but when he turned she was crouching you know what is the meaning crouching bending over and of course removing the cover and of course covers and staring at him and then you know what is the meaning staring that means looking keenly and hey he, he got it at hey get under the cover and fall fast asleep you know fast it is in form f a s t f a a a s fast asleep baby is baby is asleep you see that you are you know younger brother is sleeping she stood, uh, stood up and bounced gingerly on the springs daddy what tomorrow i want you to tell me the story that the wizard took the magic wand and hit the mummy you understand this is a topic this is a topic of the legend 
you know should wizard hit the mummy so here he he she expected he has to say like that so tomorrow i want you to tell me the story that 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 wizard took that magic wand and hit that mummy her plums you know what is the meaning plum plum means chubby we are saying the plum arms okay plum plum arms chopped forcefully and she was just asking getting promised like right over the head right no that's not the story the point is that the little skunk loved his mummy more than he loved all the other little animals and she knew what was right you understand that mother was also knowing and of course here the royal skunk also knew very well then no tomorrow you say he hit that mummy do it will you do that or not she was asking so he kicked her legs up and down on the bed i mean the great heap underlined over heap he means here maybe it is like you know lifting to lift the things he on the complaint of springs that means you know, her childish activity he was reacting and as she had done hundreds of times before except that this time she did not love say daddy and she was requesting and of course demanding not ready to understand the concept that was a story and of course torturing her you know father well 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 see now at least have a rest he was just he came he, he was unable to you know control us tension now at least have a rest stay on the bed you are a good girl understand that you are always my good girl like then you can go to sleep he closed the door and went downstairs claire had spread the newspaper and opened the paint can and wearing an old shirt of his who said jack's shirt and of course that is like you know top of her maternity smock maternity dress code you know what is the meaning maternity dress code you know pregnant they will they have a dress code like so he asserted of his on top of her maternity smock dress code maternity smock here you write uh, this particular dress code was you know stroking the chair rail with the dipped brush you know what is the meaning dipped brush the pain la nanach edupanga la brush above him footsteps vibrated and he called when he was coming down stair you know above him that means that is in the first floor we are taking there the modular room la above him footsteps vibrated and he called john shall i come up there and spank you uh, sorry spank you anale the spank means your beat spank you beat you the footsteps hesitated that means again she went to the bed and of course that was a long story claire said when he came down and she was just you know having fun at them like you know she was also saying that this is always happening you know then what is the fight between father and daughter and she was asking that was a story that was a long story i know very well the poor kid he answered yes you are correct the poor kid he answered and with utter weariness watched his wife labor while looking at that he was thinking in a different way already he was so tired because of you know narrating the story and trying to make us sleep now when he saw that and here and of course you can see the cloud was also working and of course he spread it, spread all the things even in the corridor even the veranda even the room living room and she was doing some wooden work like something you know cleaning that rooms and uh, doing painting while looking at that the wood work a cage of moldings and the rails and the baseboards all around them all around them wherever he saw so things were there she just spread everything was half old tan and half new ivory and he felt he felt you underline this is very important for your extract and of course short answers even long answers and he felt caught in an ugly middle position right like and of course he also showed us fatigue when he was narrating the story and of course while uh, coming down while looking at all those things he felt that he got you know what is i mean he caught c a u g h t he caught catch he caught in an ugly middle position alla vanda maatikidha adukku ange irundukalam inge vanda innum nariya vela irukku so he understand he felt caught in an ugly middle position and though he was he he as well as well felt his wife's presence in the cage you know what is the meaning cage going to you know the cage with him he did not want to speak with her work with her touch her anything that means you know he didn't want already he was tired that's why that is the end of the story should wizard hit mommy by john of tan and reading with the inside now you can see that what is the moral issue that the story raises moral issue that means you know all the children are always curious it is like something you know they are curious enough and always asking questions what when where which how
then the second one you can see how does joe want the story to end and why so what was the ending she expected so how does the joe how does joe want the story to end and why she was asking like that expecting like that why does jack insist that it was the wizard that was that was hit and not the mother right so why does jack insist that it was the wizard that was hit that was hit and not the mother fourth one you can see what makes jack feel caught in an ugly middle position already he was tired when he saw her wife sorry when he saw his wife he was also working hard you know something hard labor and he wanted to go and join with her and he had to do too many work that's why he also felt that what is your stance regarding stance that means you know the, your attitude or your posture your pose and then your uh, position your understanding so what is your stance regarding the two endings to the rogers gun story first one is jack's ending that means you know the mummy hit the wizard and changed rose uh, smell to awful smell and of course the second end of the story ending the two endings second ending Joe's expectation, and of course he expected and wanted, demanded that the wizard hit mummy and change did, did not change the smell from roses to off. And why is an why is an adult perspectives underlying a perspectives perspectives you know that their way of taking all those things. So here you write. So what why is an adult's perspective on life different from that of a child? Adult, you know what. You are, and of course, you are, you as and children, you as and children, right, sir? You can take sixth one. Why is an adult perspectives on life different from that of a child? Child, you understand that you have some differentiation from children, and of course, you were there once. Here we are taking you know something. Why is an adult perspective means maybe we are taking outlook, our view, our viewpoint, our point of view, our their position, our they stand, our stance, their angle, and of course their approach, their way. When we compare with you know child, and of course, and here he is completing that. Yes, sir. You can also some some characters you can also remember Robin Hood. We have come across Robin Hood, Robin Hood stories, and a legendary English outlaw of the region of Richard One, like. So Robin Hood, and we we can remember also Sakti Man. You know Sakti Man once we had a uh, serial Sakti Man or Superman, and of course Superman or Iron Man or Avengers. Uh, even now, you know you can also go for some Tenali Rama and Bibal stories. Like uh, even nowadays, you know in cartoon movies, too many things for uh, children. Children stories like child stories like we have Monty but Luke. Some of the characters act. So like storytelling. This is entirely related to storytelling activity. Yeah, you are all happy with the writing, so. So should wizard hit mummy by John of Dyke? So have you all understood the lesson? Yes.